viewers today I wanted to talk to you know you ever wanted to do this is um, actually I want to show you what version I'm on you ever wanted to install an update to a ROM but there really isn't an update okay so uh, this is liquid smooth version 2.0 RC1 and it's the September 23rd I just downloaded the September 26th which is just like three days after and it's really annoying to have to delete everything I did my settings and everything now you could save all that and back it up of course and if you have um, titanium backup which I do have just so you could see uh, titanium backup but there is another way um, because it's the same exact ROM you should be able to do a dirty install but there's the proper way of doing it so we'll, that's what we're gonna do today so we're gonna double click we're gonna go into CMW actually and I'm gonna show you how to do that install now you know you have to hit the two volume buttons and the power button let go of the power button and then hold on to the volume buttons that's what I'm doing at the moment sorry my screen is all messy I haven't replaced the uh, I tested out the scratch proof of it and I really haven't alright so let's get into it really quick alright so we are going to wipe first we're going to wipe cache okay do not wipe data because that's where all your stuff is your settings and everything you have but we're going to wipe out cache after you wipe out cache we're going to go into advance and wipe out the delvet cache i hope i'm saying it right if not somebody please let me know okay we, we're going to go back now what we're going to do is go to go back again and go install zip and we're doing liquid jelly bean so we're gonna look for it I think I have it in my internal um, let me see download no it's not there so we're gonna go back and choose zip from SD card and I think I have it under ROMs AT&T jelly bean and there it is liquid jelly bean 0926 clicking on it we're gonna click install okay so we wiped out both caches Delvic and regular cache and now it's installing on top of itself so it's actually like updating itself because it's the same system nothing should have changed that much except for maybe minor bugs that they're trying to fix but this way you'll have less problems than just doing it dirty full dirty you know um, okay so now that we've done that we're gonna go back back and what we're gonna do is do the same thing wipe cache okay it's formatting cache go back delve the cache in advance remember that go back and now we're gonna do the install of the uh, Google Apps um, I know they're already installed but I don't know it's my way of doing it. I think it's the, the, the most proper way. Um, ROMs. So we're going to go to G Apps. And there's a special liquid jelly bean one, which you don't have to use, but I feel for some reason it just makes the, the ROM more stable. Maybe that's why they made one specially for this ROM. Okay, so it's installed. Now we're going to go back and do the same process that we did last time, which is wipe cache, advanced, delvic cache for wiping, and then fix permissions. This will take a while. And the reason why it's going to take a while, normally it doesn't take that long, it's because right now we have all our, our data. And so what this is going to be doing is it's going to be fixing all the permissions from the old ROM onto the new ROM. Um, and hopefully it shouldn't give you any random reboots or any problems by doing this. Um, I've tested it out. It really didn't affect me. Uh, I didn't like the 23 um, build of this uh, ROM. It, it felt unstable, but the uh, 09, 11 um, was probably for me the best one because it was just way more stable than this as you can see it's still going on there it's still trying to 
finish and it does take a while I'll tell you this and um, once this is done process we're gonna go to back and then reboot system now so everything is done and you will see the the logo for the boot ROM in like two seconds first we're gonna see I think the first is a Samson and then it's gonna be the ROM one and for some reason it hasn't rebooted yet come on yay did I just break my phone <laughs> I don't know there it is I was about to see what was going on <laughs> Now, I've actually done this a few times and uh, I've had no problems with the ROMs. I've had no errors, weird errors that people talk about. Like, if you have weird errors, please do a full reinstall. You will have errors if you're moving on from like a liquid uh, jelly bean to like um, a paranoid Android, for instance. Sorry, I had a fan on. It was just causing more noise than I wanted. I didn't even notice that. Okay, so it is doing what it's called right now. It's doing optimization. What it's actually doing is it's because we wiped the da the cache and the Delvit cache, the new ROM doesn't have this information of all the data you had before, and it's actually trying to locate every file so it puts it in the right position so you can use it. So that's what's going on here after this we should see a Google Apps upgrade and the reason why is because we just installed it we wiped cache on both caches and it doesn't understand that we just it's like a first time Google install so it has to go through these process right now we're going through 76 of 111 it's not that long I mean on a video it feels like forever but um, But it, it, it will finish uh, almost. I just really want to show you that it works, that I'm not doing anything, that I'm not pausing or re undoing, wiping everything out and putting it back together. I want to show you that this is a true um, dirty install and that it can be done as long as it's the same ROM and you do it the proper way. And this is the exact way you should do it. Anybody else have a better way? Please let me know in the comments and test it out if you have any problems or errors please note it on the comments especially if you want to show me something you should do a video comment it's on auto allow so I could see what's going on okay it's on its last one and we're done and it's starting up and now it should be doing the Google Apps update so Android is done and it's starting up Wait, no Google Apps update. I'm not sure why. Maybe because last time I had a different Google Apps. I went from the stock Google Apps to the regular Google Apps. So it's working. I don't know if you can hear the sound. See, there's the sound. Everything is working. I'm going to do a review on this build. Um, I love this build, and I, that's why I want to do it because I, I feel that this is really, really the best uh, jelly bean out there. So watch the next video. Please subscribe and update. I mean, subscribe and like. <laughs>